Good morning, Tabitha. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. <laughs> one cup of coffee with one tablespoon of the Kaitu Super Creamer. Sweet cream flavor. The macadamia nut one from Bones, really good. Let's go wake Rachel up with a cup of coffee and tell her that we're going to vlog. Although I probably shouldn't bring the camera in there because she's going to kill me. I'm not ready to adult yet. <laughs> are we supposed to be adulting? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're gonna find all the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You are getting a really late jump today. I got a Zoom meeting in like three minutes. <laughs> I am not prepared for it. Like, I can't believe I'm gonna go on like this. Can I put in the footage of waking you up? No way, Jose. Please, let no, me put it in there. No way, Jose. <laughs> let me put it in there. Oh. I already, I've been up since 5.30. I took Tabitha on a three mile walk. You seem very chipper. That's because I had an allergy attack last night and was like out cold by like what, nine o'clock? Yeah. I have to rewatch our show, the episode we were watching. You like went I was to bed out cold. Very, very early. I um stayed up late doing shipping. Right. And so yeah, my my morning is all that allergy attack came out of nowhere. Normally they start about now and progressively like hit me throughout the day. That one, it was like Boom. all of a sudden I was sneezing, eyes watering, nose running. I'm like, where did this come from? I don't know if it was I dropped something and I went under the dresser, which by the way, we have to move our dresser. <laughs> it's free over there. Maybe it was just like the dust, but something just hit me and it was like, I was out cold. So you know what Tuesday means. Is it wings day? It's wings day. Okay, so my morning just got better. We're gonna, we're gonna have wings and we're gonna make coleslaw which if you have not seen that video, we put it up a couple of days ago. I'm gonna leave a link over Rachel's head for the best keto sweet, optional sweet, coleslaw you sweet. will ever have. Like I'm telling you, this coleslaw Easy, is so good fast. that your non-keto friends will never know this is a healthy version of of coleslaw. And again, my advice is never to don't don't lion king any keto food. Don't be like this is keto because just give it to them. They won't know. Just give it to them. Nobody will know. There's no sugar. Nobody will know. I mean, for even for people who don't like avocado oil mayonnaise, you can't tell. It's like when you make the meat lasagna. The lasagna where lunch meat is the the pasta. Yep. Don't tell them. They won't even know. They won't miss it. They won't miss the pasta. It's just like, it's just gone, right? Well, you have a Zoom meeting. Yes. I am going to go download a bunch of, epi a bunch of scripts so that we can film like three weeks worth of kids ministry to get ahead. Awesome idea. And I think since it's nice out and I'm not cutting grass today, I'm gonna head over to the park and fly my drone a little bit. Yes. Time to let the girls out. Good morning, girls. Are you guys ready to come out? Who wants to come out? Let's see who's out first. Up, oh, time to find some bugs and worms. Well, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it wouldn't be a day in July in South Florida without a bunch of rain. So this just came in the mail. This is an automatic chicken coop door opener. So we're gonna go install this since we've got probably like a 10 minute break in the rain. I know I'm not supposed to be eating these at what time? 10 o'clock in the morning. 
but we did a review of these. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put a link up here. These things are so good. Best high key cookie yet. Look, Tabitha even wants one. I want to see chocolate what, though. I want to see what Anthony thinks of these. I gotta try one. I've had these. No, you have not. It's a brand new flavor. Think Girl Scout Thin Mint. Just Thin Mint. Did they nail the flavor? Yeah. They did. Tell them. They they got it good with the flavor. They nailed it. I got one serving left. Are these mine or yours? Mine. Two, four, six. There's two, four, six. Oh, there. Wait, there's six cookies left. Oh well, it's a it's a throwaway serving then. That's in a complete serving, so it doesn't even count. But it's only seven pieces to a serving. I know, but it's six pieces, so that oh, so they're all mine then. No, that doesn't even count towards my macros. Anthony just ate part of your serving. <laughs> I'm going back to get it. Reorder the usual. We're gonna get buy one get one 15 of spicy garlic and buy one get one 15 of the lemon pepper. Food's ready. <laughs> Food is ready and I did stop at the uh, thrift store and get some books. So I'm gonna delight you on our trip over there with a 10,001 easy solutions to everyday problems. Nice. what do we get? Just made keto. Look at this. Look how pretty and fancy. I just want to let you know, I only got enough buffalo wild wings for me. No, you did not. Oh, well, if you say that, then I'm gonna make, eat this entire box of just made keto by myself. How about that? There's something about being off on a day in the middle of the week where it's 1.45 and neither one of us have even taken a shower yet. We are not adults. <laughs> this is not adulting. For the life of me, I do not understand why Chick-fil-A has such long lines. Honestly, I don't either. It is not my favorite chicken. I mean, I love Jesus, but like it is, it's not my favorite meal. It wasn't even my favorite meal pre-keto. I mean, the chicken tastes good, but those lines are ridiculous. I mean, it's wrapping around the store twice. And it's super expensive. Is it bad that I kind of want to eat that while we wait for the wings? Or at Why least not? try it. Why not? Are you not eating? I am, but I am fascinated by this. I'm starting to regret the fact that you went to the thrift store. Did you know that if your plastic lids, baby spoons, and other small items in the dishwasher keep falling through the rack, place them inside a zippered mesh bag that is usually used for washing delicates in the washing machine. Fixed it. I will eventually get rid of all the flavors that I don't like. Just keep giving them to you. Yeah, I've been choking this one down. This is the apple and ginger. Not my favorite. But What's hate, the other flavor you don't like? I hate throwing them out. I'm not a huge fan of the, the cucumber one. It's cucumber and something. I like this one. Citrus and green tea. I like the, what is it? Strawberry? Strawberry and kiwi or something? Yeah. That one's good. Okay, I know. Every time we vlog, I feel like it's Tuesday and we're eating wings. But we are going to eat something else today. This oh. isn't the only thing we're eating. Good to know. Good job on the coleslaw. Thank you. So yeah, we had an extra bag and so what did it take you? Three minutes to throw it together? Not even. Now we have a bunch of it. I just love coleslaw. So we've got lemon pepper and Rachel's like overly crispy, well done wings. They barely have any sauce left on them. One man's burnt is another woman's perfect. We're going to eat this and then what are we doing? Relax. No children at home. They're gone. What are we going to do? We've been, this has been happening on Tuesdays. I think we should go back to the thrift store and get some more books and glassware because it's 50% off. Maybe we should just go in the pool. Okay. Those wings are really good. I need to get the motivation to go take a shower though. It's only like four o'clock in the afternoon. We're disgusting. <laughs> Monsters. I'm enjoying like doing nothing today. I mean, we haven't done nothing. I mean, I've edited videos. We've done a bunch of other stuff. But, but the fact that we only had 10 things to do today feels like nothing. I have some bad news for you. It might be good news though. So I was just like filling up our keto shell containers. Yeah. Like one of the best flavors right there. Chocolate peanut butter. But how much do you really mean it when you say pistachio is your new favorite flavor? I love pistachio. Because there's only about three servings of chocolate toffee left in our house. Are you serious? That's it. So wow. guess what? You better like pistachio. 
Did you order a bunch? Not yet, but I will. I think I'm turning into Rachel. This is like my third cup of coffee today. Usually I have like one cup. So this is a giant cup with Greedo of coffee. It's the uh, macadamia coffee, whatever it's called from Bones, with one tablespoon of the super creamer, uh, sweet cream flavor. Okay, we wanted to walk you through the chicken coop real quick. This is what we've got so far. We're gonna keep making changes. Uh, before we even do the outside, we'll show you inside right here. If you can just kind of see it in. Yes, I'm going to step in this, like, inside here. There's this little thing here called the chicken guard with this door. And what happens is it's an automatic door. We have it to just close at 9 o'clock, make sure it's completely dark, and they all go up inside of there. We also built them a swing so they can come in here, although they're not usually in here. They, as soon as we get up in the morning, we come out and we let them roam free. This door is just so that we can get some fresh air in there every day. And it just closes and then every day we open it up. It kind of allows ventilation in there to air everything out and just a couple of eye hooks to hold it open. And then there's some barrel bolts to keep it shut at night. This is their egg door, which this is what we had to change originally because it originally it was coming up like this, only the water was leaking in. So we changed it so you can do it like this. And it also makes it easier to clean because you can just go on the other side and take a broom and just push everything straight out. It still has to be painted though. So we have these cups from a company called rent -a -Coop, which this is a really awesome design. We tried another design first and we didn't like it. So this design here, what happens is, is when this is all empty, what, the cup will come up like this and then the water will fill up and it'll drop like this and that shuts it off. So every time they drink out of here, it automatically keeps it full and there's seven cups. So they always have access to plenty of water and it's a whole pipe system. And then this is a clean out if you wanna clean out all of the pipes. So we have this metal roof. Rachel's gonna put some water on the roof. And this is just like a flashing that I kind of bent. And the water, that should be good. The water will hit the roof and it's on both sides and it flows down into these PVC pipes that you see on both sides. And then it comes down through this hose into a 55 gallon barrel. Then this piece here goes to their watering system. And then this one here actually goes to Tabitha's bowl. We have this system that we built which is an automatic food uh, dispenser. So this is a four inch PVC pipe with a 45 degree and then a 90 degree. And then that is just a little cap that we put so that there's absolutely no waste. You can see the little lip on there. And what happens is, is they can't pull the food out. They can put their head in, but they, there's absolutely no waste. If you look on the ground, there's no like spilt food or anything like that. And then all you have to do to fill it up is take off this cap and fill up the food. It's like a gravity feeder. So it's completely gravity fed and we haven't had to fill this up since we put it in and they actually have two of them. And this entire system costs us like $18 for both of them. And I think it will hold about 40 pounds worth of food if you fill them both up completely. And then their grit is also a gravity feeder that too. That we built that too. It's a piece of uh, duct work for like an air conditioner and then we bolted it into a pan. And then finally we have, this is a giant door to be able to clean out and get in there. They have a roost here. Then there's a little one for Hannah because she doesn't sometimes like to jump up there. And then if you can get up there, they have a light that is hooked up to a solar panel and the light comes on at dark, stays on it for two hours a night so that they know to make their way in here and then they can see the roost and then there's chicken wire all along the top so that critters can't get in, but it allows ventilation in here. And then we also have a fan just cause it's hot. And eventually our plan is to have a uh, solar panel mounted on the roof. We're gonna get a hundred watt solar panel with a battery and that will power the fan. Right now the fan is just plugged into an extension cord. But here is their existing solar panel for their light. That's just the light though. It it's won't run the fan. over there. No. Are you ready to do this? Well, I was, except for she is insisting on being a part of this. <laughs> I don't think we can have her in the kids' ministry videos. I don't think so either. 
So we're about to film three weeks worth of kids ministry videos to try to get ahead. I am all in for this. Let's do it. Let's get ahead. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Hi, my name is Rachel and I've showered today. If you'd like to adult like I adult, please send a message to Rachel at twocrazyketos.com. <laughs> We did shower earlier. I mean, we did get like three videos done for yeah. preschool. So. I'm, I'm impressed. It has been a productive but lazy day. Is, is that possible? Can you have a productive day? We have a fly flying around. I know. It's, it's pretty bad. Can you have a productive day but at the same time do nothing? I feel like we did that today. Well, here's the thing. Have 10 things on your to-do list. Not 50. 50 well, that's, yeah, that's our normal thing. 50 things on your to-do list makes you feel like you're overwhelmed. Yeah. And you never actually get everything off your list. So when we only have 10 things on our list and we check off all of those things, yeah, we feel like totally lazy people. I do. I feel very lazy today, but I feel like we got some stuff done. So we did. We're going to eat a little bit more food. Mm-hmm. So this is just, we're splitting a chicken crust pizza. I love those things. So this is, um, but I made it a little bit differently. Okay. So it's a can of chicken crust, a, chi a can of chicken breast. All right. It's Parmesan cheese, some egg, a little bit of mozzarella. Mozzarella. Then we have a little bit more mozzarella on top. Goat cheese. Goat cheese is my favorite. Everybody and then doesn't, pepperoni. Everybody doesn't like goat cheese, but I love it. I love it. There's so, something else here on the side. Uh huh. Wah, wah, wah. I have food in my mouth. Wah. Okay. This is something we've been working on. Should have a recipe soon if it's not out already when the vlog comes out. And this is a protein custard. Yep. So I'll show it to you. Ooh. It's like pudding. It's a, it's a custard. It's not pudding. Because it's thicker than it's pudding? It's thicker, yeah. Like, you could actually turn this into a flan if you could do a good keto caramel sauce. Mmm. Well, been working on this for a long time. Mm-hmm. You can use any protein powder. We're using keto chow. I'm not going to tell you how I'm making it because... It'll be in the video. There'd be no reason for you to watch the video. Right. Right? But I am using keto chow, but I've tried it with other protein powders and it does work with other protein powders. What we've been really trying to do is this has to get cooked in the oven, in a water bath. We've tried to do the fast route. We have been trying and trying for two weeks to do this in a microwave to make it fast. Because it does take like 25 to 30 minutes if you make it in ramekins like this in an oven. We really wanted to make it in a microwave to make it super fast. Like, hey, you could make this. It never comes out right. And I've tried it as low as 10% power on our microwave and the eggs curdle. Yes, I'm growing a beard. Rachel said she wants me to grow a beard. I want to see. What am I going to get for growing a beard? I'll grow one too. Okay, that's a deal. <laughs> that is going to be our vlog of nothing for today. We did eat. We did a lot of stuff. Yeah. If you like seeing videos like this, check out our complete playlist of full day of eatings, which you can see right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you like this or that, don't forget to subscribe by going right here. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.